This is a Tesla Model S and I'm going to show you all the tech, everything you need to know on how it works and what it does in this video. steering wheel has your volume up and down button, your track next and back, and on this side you've got your menu options, you've got your voice control, and you've got the ability to scroll through those settings. So these are the three different stalks. You've got your indicator and your screen wash. You've got your cruise control settings, so you can do that without using the screen, and this lets you adjust the position of the steering column. Welcome to Tech in the Car. In this video, I'm gonna show you around the Tesla Model S. I have to thank Clive, whose car this is, for letting me do this. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much, Clive. Tesla Model S has the biggest display of any car. It's got a 17 inch touchscreen here. It's a massive touchscreen, and it's got all the latest technology that I'm gonna show you now. So let's start with the car settings. So up here at the bottom, we have the car settings, music, access to various other options, your climate control, seat heating settings and also your demisting for your windows and your audio settings as well so this is a main overview with quick controls and if you look at this here you can see i can change the headlight settings from auto to full beam to side lights to off i can also adjust the fog lights whether they're on at the front or rear i can fold my mirrors in and I can set it up so it always folds mirrors at this location. So if there's a particular location where I'm worried about somebody hitting my mirrors, I can set it so it always folds at that location using your GPS. I can lock the car, I can open the frunk or the fruit, and I can slide the sunroof open to exactly the position I want it to be. This is a very cool bit of technology to allow you to precisely choose where you want the sunroof and I love this feature as part of Tesla. We then have the ability to unlock the charging port and open the back of the car as well. I can adjust the display brightness as well. Right now it's on auto. If I go into lights, it will show me the headlights again, but it also show me the dome lights for the interior lighting and the ambient lights. It will give me the options to use the auto high beam, which will allow the lights to turn on and off when I'm in oncoming traffic and also have the headlights after exit so they stay on so you can see where you're going. If we go into driving settings, I can choose between the various acceleration modes between chill and standard. Speed limit mode is enabled, which means that the car won't accelerate past the speed limit, which is set. There's also ludicrous mode if I have a car and I wanna go as fast as possible and launch it. We've got steering modes between sport, standard and comfort, so it can adjust how heavy or light the steering is and your regenerative braking, so you can have it standard or low, so it recharges based on the amount you're braking. Then you've got other settings like creep under here. Creep allows the car to move forward when you take your foot off the brake pedal slightly, which is like a traditional car. Electric cars don't do that, but if you wanna get that feeling, you can turn it on. Slip start, which will help you if you're stuck in snow, sand, or mud. And you've got range mode. If you're worried about your range, you can turn range mode on and it will allow you to save extra energy so you get to your destination as well. If we go into autopilot, you've got your auto steer and your navigate on autopilot. So Teslas have the ability to almost drive themselves. It's not allowed in the EU and it's not fully active in the US yet, but according to Tesla, these cars can actually drive themselves. It gives you a lot of that functionality. Now auto steer will steer for you and stay in your lane. Navigate on autopilot means that it will automatically turn on the navigation and try and drive for you when you use navigation and you can customize that. So it's always on, on every trip 
and you can do speed based lane changes so this will speed up or slow down to change lanes with traffic around you and you can adjust how aggressive or relaxed it is however it does not affect the safety of the lane change the car will not go into space where it's not safe it just means it will go into spaces a bit faster if you want it to do so and then we've got summon so summon is a really cool feature which lets you pull your car out of parking spaces that are really tight by using your phone on your app so you can change the amount of bumper clearance you can change the summon distance so the amount it will pull out for you and the side clearance so if there isn't a lot of space you can adjust that as well and if you have home link which is to open and close your garage door you can use that as well so it will automatically open it and pull out we've got our speed limit warning so right now it will give me on the display a warning to showing me the speed we can also set it up so it's got a chime i can set that up so it's relative or absolute and i can adjust the speed here of that so it, whether it's absolute or relative i got my forward collision warning so this is really important the car will be aware of when there's something in front of you whether it's a person or another car and it will alert you of that and that can be either late medium or early giving you time to respond but don't worry because it has automatic emergency braking so the car will automatically brake for you in that scenario you also have your emergency lane departure avoidance which will stop you from going out of your lane you've also got your obstacle aware acceleration which will automatically limit acceleration and apply the brakes if an object is detected in front of it let's go into the vehicle settings and you have walk away door lock so you can make it so when you walk away the doors lock automatically you can exclude locations like your home so if you want to make sure that you can still get access to your car easily if you've got shopping or something auto present handles so the handles on this car are flat and flush with the body when you go towards the car they pop out unlock on park child protection lock and the driver door unlock mode which will only unlock the driver door when you shift to park so the rest of the car stays locked but only the driver door does so if you're alone that's great or if you're worried about somebody opening the car door before you're fully stopped you can control that there mirror auto tilt and mirror auto fold so you, they will automatically adjust when you're reversing or when you're parking and you've got your auto wipers beta where the windscreen wipers will adjust speed depending on the amount of rain into the display settings so you can adjust whether it's in night mode or day mode in night mode the screen will get darker so you have less glare from the screen and you can see easily at night you've got the brightness of the screen which is in auto right now but you can adjust it manually you've got your energy saving mode there we go there's live uh, footage of it adjusting the brightness you've got your energy saving mode so this will save energy for you if you're uh, not using the car and this will maintain that electricity and that battery charge as much as possible you've got your screen clean mode so you've got a massive screen here you're worried about fingerprints but you don't want to tap all the buttons when you're cleaning it well with a screen clean mode it will lock the screen out so you can do that you've got your language english united kingdom and your navigation language so you can adjust these to different languages depending on where you are in the world you can adjust your time formats you can show your energy display and distance of energy miles kilometers temperature and tire pressure so you can adjust all of these things trips you can show it in the instrument panel in front of me the information about your trip you can also adjust and reset trip a and trip b information too and let's have a look at the navigation settings so we can adjust the volume of the navigation very easily so you don't have to worry about fiddling around trying to adjust it while you're driving you've got automatic navigation so it will automatically navigate your homework or your next calendar event location when you enter the car and this syncs with your calendar so it knows where you're going android auto used to have a similar feature but they removed it you've got your trip planner which i'll show you later which shows you the route and shows you all the superchargers along the way and you've got your online routing which takes into account traffic and you can adjust how much traffic there is if it reroutes you so you make sure that you get to your destination as quickly as possible and you can set it to avoid ferries and avoid tolls as well 
Then you've got your safety and security. You can power off the whole system. You can set a speed limit, which this car currently has set up, so it won't go above 87 miles an hour. And then you've got sentry mode. So sentry mode essentially is like a security guard or a guard dog for your car. And it will use all the cameras and the sensors to keep an eye on your car. It will record video and send you notifications. So essentially your car is using all of its cameras as a CCTV dash cam system. And you can set it up so if you're at home it's off or if you're in somewhere which you know is secure like in the garage you don't need it on it does of course use battery and it will send that data out over the internet connection so you know what's going on and to enable it you have to have at least 20 percent battery life but it's a really cool feature that tesla have that no one else has you can turn the front airbag on and off as well in this setting you can turn your park assist chimes on and off there's something called joe mode which will adjust the volume of the chime so they're less loud in the rear so if you have children they won't disturb them as much you can turn your security alarm on and off you can adjust the sensitivity for tilt and intrusion uh, you can set up passive entry and also the pin to drive so you need to put a pin into drive you can turn on the cabin overheat protection which will keep the temperature in the car at a certain temperature so it doesn't get too hot or too cold even and that has to have at least 20 percent battery to work you can allow mobile access through the phone so you can use that to get into the car and allow keyless driving now lots of cars are being stolen with keyless entry and it's not typically easy to turn them on and off so with tesla you can very easily turn your keyless on and off so you can keep your car safer and of course you've got sentry mode as well you've got your service settings so you can update the key fob if you've got one you can set it into tow mode if you need the car to be towed your wipe per service mode so that will raise the wipers up so you can change the blades and you can change the wheel configuration so if you change the size of the wheels on the car you can set it up so the car knows the energy usage for those particular wheels and it will make sure that it sticks to that and then you can adjust your notification and then lastly here you have your software settings so this is a tesla model s 75d called black beauty you can see the vin number you can see the software version and then at the bottom here you can tap on your manual to get access to the manual online as well